back to the Ringer 57 YouTube channel yet again. So today, we're gonna continue where we left off yesterday. We're going to strip all of the wiring off of Susie, the whole harness, front to back, the dash, everything. We're gonna gut it completely down. I'm gonna pull that fairing support that I jacked up yesterday. Uh, the handlebars are straight. Got them all straightened up. Uh, get the nitrous bottle off. It's about the bulk of it. So we're gonna strip it down and get it ready because my nitrous pressure sensor is going away, my nitrous gauge is going away, a bunch of shit's going away. We got a whole new plan for this, so let's get to it. We'll do a time lapse. I'm gonna take my time this time, so it's actually a decent length time lapse because I ran too fast the last time. Uh, it was nine seconds, nine minutes. So you get the math there. One second per minute on time lapse. Let's get to it. because there was some more brackets I completely spaced off, I ignored at the beginning of the year, that went to old electronics Susie doesn't use anymore. Yes, we rattle canned it. I don't want rust. The pretty powder coat's been jacked up for a while anyway. It's still pretty where it needs to be pretty. So, Susie is gutted. The tail section is empty again. We're gonna be building a new undertail, a better undertail, one that doesn't flop so bad. Uh, we got all the wiring out of the entire bike, front to back. We got this front. Strip down to bare. I need to strip the bracket down. But let's go through some of the spaghetti we've been dealing with. This started out pretty. If you go back to the videos a while, a while, a while ago, like this spring, you'll see the EFI conversion videos and you'll see how nice I had the wiring loomed. It didn't stay that way for long. All right guys, and as you can see, like I've said a million times, half a Susie is held together by zip ties. But anyway, <laughs> I think I ended one, two, four, five, six bolts in all that. Uh, anyway, we got our old fuse box. It was huge, it was clunky, and it took up a lot of space. So we're going to be looking for a micro fuse box that big. Uh, so this is gone. We got our purge, purge, solenoid, purge relay, stage one relay, stage two relay. This will go down to two relays, fuel pump, and purge. We have got... Our handlebar controls, don't know if I'm putting those back on yet. Probably will just for looks. Maybe put my tether in there of some sort, I don't know. Uh, we got our busted ram mount. I wonder if I can get a new ring for that, I doubt it. Uh, and our old dash, which was just simple switches. Main power, start, auto shift, and nitrous. A shift light that never worked from day one. And our oil pressure light, which worked every time. This is, yeah, there go. Gonzo, because we never actually finished it. <laughs> it got working, and then I quit fighting with it. And if you can tell, half this wiring's been hobjobbed 50 times. Like, we just replaced this switch at the track during the track day video, because it went bad. So that's gonna get gutted. Um, we got eight gauge speaker, eight gauge amplifier power wires everywhere. Worse than that, 
some of the add-ons throughout the season were thrown on with speaker wire. Uh, got our nitrous pressure switch, which is going to switch over to a different style nitrous pressure switch. Uh, some of our looming was still intact, nice and neat. That's all cold shrink. Uh, I will need these pigtails for the Bosch 211 and a couple other pigtails. Uh, I'll cut them all out of it. There's our amp seal. This thing is so worn out it just kind of falls off. So we got a new flying lead coming to rebuild all this. And we're going to try and use uh, some techniques I learned online. Uh, our injector pigtails are gonzo because these Dietzworks injectors have something on them that everyone cusses. Let's see if I can get you up here. You'll see that they have a plug and a plug. It's because they have an adapter. So I'm just going to order this style pigtails. And we'll take those and loom them all together into a bank fire wiring harness coming across all those. So those will be going away. Uh, we will probably still use the same crank signal. Uh, wire here, the plug. Not 100% sure on that. I may tear it out apart and rewire it. Because I want to go to a Deutsch style plug, I believe it is. A better plug than these things. These weather packs are great for like tail lights on a trailer. They suck for everything else. Uh, anyway, the rest of this is just spaghetti. Uh, you can see how much has been added to it. It started out as two, the two main black looms that you see. This one, which was all of our high amp draw, large gauge wires, and our higher-ish amp draw but interference circuits like injector power and coil power. So that... Gonzo, I'll probably open that up and save the long ones. I may actually use a portion of that, if not all of it. Uh, and then this is still intact. This went up to the front, which turned into spaghetti eventually. And then went to our coils with speaker wire, our injectors with OE wiring, and split off to our two temp sensors and then back to the back to that mess. That spaghetti's gone biggest thing starter relay main relay fuel pump relay now this got reallocated to be micro squirt power and the micro squirt would turn on this relay this relay was the starter so I'm gonna redo that and I'm gonna do two smaller relays one will be power for the micro and one will be power for uh, the micro controlled circuits, anything the micro squirt controls or gets feedback from. And then another smaller one will sit aside and that will be power for everything that I need to be able to power up without powering up the micro. Because that was about the most annoying thing in the world. We are going to stick with our Bosch 211 igniter. We'll go ahead and uh, take that off and I need to cut this bracket here and here. And then I need to find a new, obviously, fairing bracket, fairing support, whatever you want to call it. So we'll get one of those found. I think I got one found in the group. Uh, that gentleman I've sold a few parts to is buying a bike and stripping it and switching it. So in any case, that's where we're at, guys. We've got all the major components over here. Uh, we got plug wires, which are going in the garbage. Dana coils, which are going up for sale. Our wideband control module, our Warbro 255 fuel pump, our map sensor, which is going back on the bike, our Bluetooth adapter for our micro. I don't think that's going back on the bike. It may go back on the bike. Probably will actually go back on the bike, just so I can still collect data logs. Uh, and take your temp sensor it needs a permanent home micro squirt fuel lines all the fuel lines and our rsr shift box so all this is stripped down we're ready to start wiring whenever that time comes 
Uh, we got a flying lead on the way, so probably a couple weeks before we start looking into that. And I have to get another major component on the way before I even start wiring. I want all the components in place, mounted on the bike, before I start pulling wires. So next we're going to work on probably the shifter bracket and starting to lay things out, coming up with an undertail, all that good jazz. Thanks for watching the Ringer 57 YouTube channel, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Susie's had a hard week, hard year. It's been a season. But in the end, we accomplished our goals, and now we have to move forward.